YouTube, what's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Mastering Mind Studio. I got a quick one for you today because this tutorial is easy peasy, y'all. But check this out. My studio, they're making updates to the platform. It seems like on a daily basis. So stuff may be moved around a bit, but it's still easy to find, still easy to use. It just looks a little different than the last video that I put out. But speaking of updates, there's a new custom functions feature that allows you to add custom JavaScript code to really expand the capabilities of your AI. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect ConvertKit to my studio if you wanted to collect email addresses and send them over automatically. All right, let's get into it. All right, here we are inside of my studio. So I'm going to create a new AI. I'll create a quick blog post generator. All right. Okay. So in this middle section, I'll highlight this, change all occurrences and type in blog post. All right. Uh, let's do professional for the tone. All right. So now I want to go over to automations. So we already have collect input set up for the blog post. So, so this tells the AI that it wants to collect a topic from the user and then send the message to the AI to write about that topic. But I'm going to go into onboarding and then I'm going to create a new input because we want to collect an email address from the user. So the reason I want to put it in onboarding as opposed to creating a new collect input block is because this will be a global variable meaning that once they fill it out, they don't have to fill it out every time they start a new thread to use the AI. Okay, so that's why I wanna put it in the onboarding section. So I'll click this and then click new user input, the plus button, create new. So I'm gonna create a short text and then go down and type email as the variable. Label text, so we'll do, please give me your email address. So I'll come back over to the main dot flow section and under onboarding, you'll see the user input variable here. Okay. So now I want to add a custom function. So if you click this plus button here, I'll go down to run function. So you have to select the function. So these are the functions that are available right now and new are being added all the time. And if you create a custom function, you can submit it to be added here as a template for other users. So I'll go down to Zapier webhook and click import. So as you can see, and let me adjust this but it added zapier here so under configuration it says zapier webhook url so i have to go over to zapier and get that url now so head over to zapier i'll do create zap so i'll go ahead and give this a name so i want to click on trigger and then go down to webhook All right. so it says choose an event select catch hook hit continue so we won't need to fill this out. It'll still work without it. I'll hit continue again. And then it says we're listening, but there's nothing being sent to it to listen for yet. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and copy this URL, this webhook URL, come back over into my studio and then paste that here. And then for the input, I'll do, do the double curly braces and then do email. So it knows what to send over. Then we'll do preview draft. And I should have turned this off. I can turn this off. So I'll come up here and click content generator. So let me go ahead and rename this too. So this will bring up all this information where I can add this metadata. So I'll change this to blog post generator and go down to landing page and I'll disable the landing page. Okay. So now I head back over to preview draft. So it'll take me right to this input. So let's just do email at website.com and then hit next. Okay, what would you like to write? Let's do the health benefits of peanut butter. <laughs> Hit next. So we'll get our blog post. So as you can see right here, it says the global variables is this email that was submitted. Then the runtime variable is the topic. So the global variable doesn't change, but the runtime variables will change every time the user uses the AI. So now if I head back over into Zapier, hit test trigger. Boom. See, it has the email right here. Now I'll do continue with selected record. And then I'm going to select convert kit right here. Okay. So it says event. I want to add tag to subscriber. So in convert kit, you know, we have tags instead of other platforms. They have lists, but in convert kit, you want to add tag to subscriber. I'm going to hit 
continue. I'm already logged in. So I continue again. So the tag that I want to select, I'm going to create one called party people. <laughs> so the email is the only thing that's required. I'm not going to make them give me their first and last name. So I just want to select this and go down to this data right here that it got from my studio. All right, I'll leave this blank and then hit continue. So now it's showing me what will be created. So I'm going to hit test step. Boom. So if I head over into ConvertKit and refresh this list, it will be there. Description date today. There it is. So let's do another one. Let's test another one real quick. So I'll come back into Zapier and hit publish. Then I'll come back into my studio, edit. We're going to publish this and test it again. So I hit publish. Now I'll just choose a free plan for this. But if you wanted to embed this into your website, of course, you would need to select the pro or business plan. But in this case, I'm just going to select the free plan. So let's test this like a regular user. So I'll do open, open published. So you'll see it takes me right into the chat. If I hit new, you know, it'll just ask me what I want to write about because the email was a global variable and already has it in the system. So I'll log in like I'm a regular user. So let's give me your email address. And let's just do something like Marshall at PBJ sandwich.com. <laughs> so it asked me what I want to write about. Let's just say the health benefits jelly. All right, so if I head back over to ConvertKit, you see I got 598. This is the, the list or the tag, right? If I refresh this, it should be there. Boom, 599, and here is the email that I put in. You see how easy it is, y'all. You see how easy it is. And there it is, y'all. I told y'all it was gonna be a quick one, but as you can see, it worked beautifully. Just keep in mind that they're making updates to the My Studio platform all the time. So there is a possibility that someone will submit an official JavaScript function for ConvertKit like they have for MailChimp, all right? But in the meantime, you can use this method to connect ConvertKit to my studio. If this video was helpful, let me know in the comments. Please smash that like button before you get out of here. I appreciate you guys for tuning in and I'll see y'all in the